Okay, I'm going to tell you a little bit about ERDAP, which is a cool piece of software made by the NOAA Fisheries Service. Um, this is the homepage for ERDAP. It's not too sexy. No cool graphics. Just a lot of information. And basically what it is, is a tool that works with tabular data or gridded data. So like you think like spreadsheets for tabular data or, you know, bathymetric grids or model output for um, for gridded data. I'm going to tell you today about using ERDAP with tabular data. Um, by the way, if you want to know how to get to this page, um, if you go to Google and you type in ERDDAP, um, you get right back to it. So ERDDAP, spelling's a little funny, but it's nice and unique. So anyway, this is the ERDAP homepage. It tells you all about it right here. Um, it's like a uh, it's like one of those international travel converters that uh, takes in a bunch of different stuff, uh, different types of formats of data on one end, transforms them into an internal data model that's uh, a simple ta table with metadata, and then lets you access that same information um, in a standard way and write the data out into a whole bunch of different files. And you can also um, filter the data and sub-select the data and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you all that. So um, if you want to find data, you can, you can do a text search uh, for data. You can also, if, since I'm just interested in table data, um, I can click here and see all the tabular data. So each one of these um, is some kind of different kind of data set with lots of variables in them. So I'm going to look at this um, Cal Coffee uh, egg count positive toes data set here. I just want to show you if you did search for egg, if you knew you were looking for eggs or something, you could you could just get the uh, the data sets that have egg in them. And um, so this first one here, uh, or the second uh, one here, is the one I'm going to look at, these Cal Coffee egg counts. So um, first I'm going to show you how to access data from these. If you click on this little data link here, you get this uh, page that also has a lot of information on it. But basically all the, the columns of your, say, spreadsheet of your table are presented over here. Here are all the different variables that are in this um, tabular uh, data set, this table. And by default, they're all selected. So if you just wanted to get all the data, you could go down here and choose a file type. This says HTML table. Um, but if you click here, you can see that there's all sorts of different kinds of output you can select. You can select uh, CSV of different types, a simple CSV, one with uh, times and ISO strings, and one with units. Um, you can download um, GeoJSON if it's a, a geo file for JavaScript applications. You can download a MAT file for MATLAB folks, a NetCDF file, all different kinds of data. Let's just go for the default, which is this HTML table, which puts it back in your uh, web browser. So you select table, hit submit, and you get back a table of data. So this is, you know, maybe the original data looked something like this, and then it was uh, ingested into ERDAP. And now you can get it back in lots of different formats, but uh, more powerfully, um, let's say let's say we didn't want to get all the data; we just want to get certain data. So we can let's unselect uh, all this stuff by unchecking all. Let's say we just wanted the cruise, and I don't know the, the tow type, um, maybe the I don't know where's something interesting, maybe the egg count and the. Um, species in the cal coffee species code or something okay so if i just select those and i go down and hit submit again um, we should see now we just get those few things that we asked for great um, there's different tow types oblique manta blah 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 if we go back now now the really cool part is any of these variables you can constrain your request to say have a tow type of you can say if it's a numeric value, you can say greater than or equal to on these little drop downs or not equal to. Um, for things that are just um, things like toe type, which is not a numeric value, there's a little uh, drop down list of values over here. Oops, that's not toe type. That is, that's toe type. So um, let's say we just wanted the manta toes. We, if we clicked on manta, so we have a toe type equal to manta here. And if we just submit that URL again, now we get just Manta. And again, of course, um, we can not only just put it on the screen, but we could, um, let's just show, I guess, that we can put this um, to a CSV file. So I'm going to select CSV up here, um, and then I'm going to hit Submit. And it, um, it's now it's downloaded this file here. 
So if I uh, double click this, it should come up in Excel, and there we go. No, there we go. <laughs> uh, so here's just the Manta data. So uh, you can quickly get the data. It's just the data you want into, say, something like um, Excel. Um, so uh, I could get rid of that. So um, let's see. So that's the data. That's getting data. Um, and actually, one more thing here is this little button that says just generate the URL. Everything that you select here actually is just constructing a long URL that does the request. And the cool thing about that is if I control C uh, to copy that uh, URL there and just uh, dump it up here in a new tab, you can see that all it is is um, table DAP and then the data set name and what type of data you want to get back here. It's CSV. Um, and then just the variables that you want and the toe type equals manta and a certain time period so you know if you select this time period actually let's go back let's go back and turn on time for just for example okay and now and let's switch this back to um, HTML table submit that okay so here we have cruise toe type time um, and you can see you can see the URL up here on top. So let's copy that URL and note that the time start in 2011 here. If we go to this tab and uh, drop this uh, URL in, so so here's the same thing. Let's just execute that to confirm that we get the same thing back. So we just executed that URL and got back the same thing as we had before. And now let's just go up here on the URL and edit this and change this to 2012. Or no, let's not change that to 2012 because <laughs> that would be past the end. But um, okay, so we've got data from 1025 to 11.1. So let's just make it from data from 1028. So I'm just changing the URL, right? And I'm going to hit enter here, and now I've just got the data. Um, you know, so everything is uh, on this URL, which means that you can do execute this URL from a script or in Excel or in your favorite programming language like Python or MATLAB or R or whatever. So that's really powerful. So everything you can do here in the GUI, you're not just trapped in this in the GUI. You can use that to build up that URL and then um, and then use it uh, in other programs. So that was how you get data. Actually, while I'm here, this F ISO uh, 119115 will dump out your the information from this data set in an ISO metadata. So for data providers, if you got your data into ERDAP, if you submitted it to ERDAP, and there's now a um, data provider form for ERDAP, if you can get your data into ERDAP, um, you can get the data out as, you can get the metadata out as ISO metadata, which means that you could meet probably the requirements of, say, NSF or your agency for publishing um, your data in an open uh, and, and standardized way. So that was the data. And um, if you go back now again to, let's just go um, here to graph. OK, so here's the same data set. And instead of collecting data, we're going to hit click on graph. And now you get another interface where you see uh, different variables here. It says you can basically do the same type of thing to construct a graph. So you can pick a graph type, like markers or lines. Um, pick which, what you want for the x and y axis and what you want for the color. Here we've got longitude and, and latitude, and we've got the color is egg count. Um, and then there's some different little markers here. Um, you can set all these things that show up in the plot over here with these um, this little GUI over here. So we're looking at egg count over here. You can see some variation. If we wanted to make those, those a little bit bigger, we could click on 8 and redraw the graph. And now we've got bigger little boxes over here. Well, that's kind of cool. Um, but you know what this really is? It's a nice little screening tool, and um, you can you can keep track of. Um, you quickly look at the data set, and you can also um, uh, use the same URL that you've generated here. Again, this URL completely defines this this plot down here. So if, instead of HTML table, if we set the file type to something like um, a large ping PNG image and we redrew this graph now we um, oops no I don't want to do that sorry I don't want to redraw the graph I want to set the file type to be ping 
large ping, and then download the data or the image. Okay, so if I click on download the data or the image, now what I have back is it's just the ping. Okay, if I write my, I could save image as it's just a ping, and that ping is generated by this URL again. So it's that data set. This is look familiar. Large ping and longitude, latitude, egg count, and time. Da 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 markers and then a whole bunch of stuff that basically defines this plot so again you could use this url to just generate this image so you could generate an image in the middle of whatever programming language you're using or you could have this embedded on a web page um, and it would be a dynamic uh, query to this um, to this data set so one of the neat things that erdap can do also instead of having time equal to a specific date like this you can say today um, and you, you can say like minus two days, so you can, and then every time you executed this, it would update, say, if you had um, data that was um, that was continually being collected, like real-time data, you, you, this would make a new plot. The, executing that URL would make a new plot every time. So um, that's a little bit about ERDAP, and um, yeah, it's a powerful program. Try it out. Um, I think you'll like it.